the next thing I've got to do is connect the um, hull sensors from the motor to the motor power controller. So we use this plug, which I've got to wire up. Um, it has female pins inside it, which I've got to fit. And the plug, if we go around here, has got to connect to this plug, which has male pins inside it. Um, from the hall sensors. So the red wire is 5 volts, black is uh, ground and the other three are the three signal lines from the hall sensors. So here we go, we've got a, a plug that connects to the um, hall sensor plug from the motor controller and then this black plug matches up to this diagram here. You can see it. there, And that goes into the Robotech. So there we go, that's the wire um, with the hall sensors and that comes down our specially made lead around here. It's taken me about four hours to get this to work. We've got a little bit of acrylic here simply because it doesn't conduct electricity. There's an Arduino Mega board on it. I'm using serial uh, one outputs um, to a TTL to RS232 converter. That converts the, if you think about the pulses from an Arduino as 0 to 5 volts, um, it converts them to like a, t a 12 volt pulse um, on the output. And it's just a handy way to convert it. It's called a MAX232 chip. But you can get them on these little breakout boards. That then runs along just three wires um, from pins 2 and 3. They're the data pins and pin 5 is the ground. And that goes to um, this, I think it's 24 pin uh, male plug here. Again, the numbering is pin 5 is ground and pin 2 and 3 are the data, TX and RX. And the key thing is they cross over. So pin 2 on here, where are we? Here. Pin 2 here. Pin 2 there goes to pin number 3 on this and vice versa so they cross um, if you put, get a magnifying glass you can actually see the pins are numbered it's molded into the plastic of this plug and this plug but it's extremely small I don't you might be able to see some numbers there um, but they're the key ones um, it's taken me a while to sort that out so there you go these key bits of information are often missing. Um, so, a demo program, I've got a little button here attached to my Arduino with my demo program. So we'll power up the Robotech from the power pack that's inside the unicycle, around 65 volts. So turn it on. That's the big contactor clicking. We'll turn on the Robotech with a switch. There we are, and some lights come on. Um, it's supposed to detect which mode of data communication you're using. So um, earlier I was using USB in this socket, and now I'm using serial here. So when we think we're ready, um, this is just powering the Arduino, and it's my serial view window, so it just tells me what, what's going on. So when I press this button, it should start sending out some data and the wheels should start to move. So here we go. There we go, sending out some data. Ooh, and the wheel's moving. So that's just ramping up to 10% power forwards, back to zero, then 10% power backwards. So I'm hoping this will get rid of our the sort of dead zone that we had in the middle using the Kelly controller from the um, which was designed for a boat. Right, a day has passed now and I've changed a few things. The Test code is now running on the Arduino 
that's inside here. The I've removed the speaker grill for the speech alarms. You can see the Max 232 board just crammed in there for the moment. Um, that's then running down three three wires down the whole length of the fuselage to the back. And you can see we've got the uh, there they go. There's the three data wires into the back of the Robotech which is now fixed temporarily with cable ties to the back of the scooter but you can see how it's going. Um, I'm trying to do things in a modular way so if this works then I'll package this better in the tail and shorten all these large wires. So now the software runs so that when I pull the dead man lever um, it the wheel should start to turn, so uh, let's see what happens. Here we go, pull. In this version we're going to test the whole thing now. If use my foot, if I tilt it on the engine stand a little bit, you'll see it should Right, it's balancing. If I go forward, it will speed up. Tip it forward. There we are. And then backwards, and it should slow down. Tip it backwards. There we are. All right. It should go back the other way. There we are. There we go. And if I let go of the dead man, it should stop. And it does. So the next job is to fit all this gubbins into neatly into the back of the machine.